Hi, welcome back. You're watching Trading Hour. It's uh, looking good on the screen right now. So let's invite Kush Bora, founder of KushBora.com, for a quick tech check. Hi, Kush. Uh, morning. Thanks very much for joining in. Uh, let's start with your uh, strategy on the index and then your individual stock picks. Uh, first up, Sumaira, thank you for uh, having me uh, on the show. Well, uh, you know, if you look at the data, then 18,000 and 17,800. These two strikes have a very strong uh, base, you know, when it comes to the call side. And 17,500 and 17,300 have, you know, very significant bases on the put side. Now, the interesting thing is that there is a lot of call writing activity happening on the higher uh, sides. Now, combine this with, you know, the uh, pressure that global markets are reeling under, this could keep the indices under check for a while. Now, you know, once we get a breakout or a breakdown, you know, beyond the range, do we get a clear, uh, you know, directional trend? On the Nifty, this is 17,200 and 17,800. On the bank nifty, it is 38,800 and 40,000. The good thing here is that, you know, we're trading closer to the upper end, you know, of the range. Now, bank nifty is becoming more and more Atmanirvar. Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, we're not relying on the FII inflows in the large private banks alone. In fact, if you take the last two weekly expiries, the PSU bank index has been the top three. Uh, so, you know, that's a positive. And SBI is now joining the party. There's a good chance that, you know, we may break out of the upper range. But up until then, we, uh, you know, we advise, you know, no trades on the Nifty or the Bank Nifty. A lot of action in the small cap and the mid cap space. And we expect that to continue in the coming weeks. All right. Uh, that's what we've been seeing play out last week as well. But Kush, any individual names that you would like to recommend? Sure. So, you know, keeping in line with the, you know, mid cap and the small cap, uh, you know, stocks and, you know, that uh, space doing very well. I have two picks, both on the buy side. The first one is Timken. Now, this stock is, you know, one that we've discussed, you know, uh, on the channel, on the show for, you know, a while now from, I think, 2,100 levels. And it's, at, you know, close to 30 to 30 to 50 right now. No signs of, uh, you know, this momentum abating. There was a brief uh, dip in the stock, but that's turned out to be a buying opportunity. We expect this momentum to continue for levels of 3350. And here the stop loss would be 3200. The second stock of, uh, you know, a relatively smaller ticket size is Hoodco. This stock also has seen very strong momentum, you know, over the last, you know, couple of weeks. Uh, there, there are a lot of positive crossovers that are happening, you know, on the stock price and on the moving averages. We expect this momentum also to uh, continue for levels of 4,500. Here, the stop loss would be 40.5. Thank you very much, uh, Kush, for joining in. Need to get into a break. Here is a quick reminder for all our viewers.